Welcome to the Writer's Anointing Show. I'm Dr. Jewel D. Williams, owner of Tri Products Publishing, where I coach you to win in publishing. So today's installment continues around our theme editing and self-editing. And today I'm going to talk to you about telling them. Welcome. So welcome. My husband, you he told me when he had this teacher that gave them this phrase, and this is the phrase. The teacher instructor told him, he said, tell them what you're going to tell them. Then tell them what you've told them, and then tell them what you've told them. Let me say that again. He the, the saying was tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, then tell them what you told them. And I use it when coaching clients. So let me break that down so you'll understand with me. First part is tell them what you are going to tell them. Every reader wants to have an idea what your book uh, is going to present to them. They want to know even before they get into the meat of it. So when tell them what you're going to tell them, you are introducing them to your topic, to your main points. Not only from the beginning of the book, but as you draw them into each chapter, you do this in in part by creating a format that introduces your reader to what they can expect from each chapter. So when you tell them what you're going to tell them, you're introducing them to what your story is, what your topic is, what your essay is, what your paper is. It's the introduction to not only the book, but every chapter. The part where it says, tell them, what does that mean? The body of your story should convey to the reader what you promised in your introduction. If you told the reader of this book, you were going to give them tips on prayers, for example, you shouldn't be venturing off into dealing with conflict resolution. Wow, you might say, well, they'll both have the same thing. No, unless you are telling them how to pray about conflict resolution, you can have your reader not sure really what your topic was. I know we get that, but I promise I have read things that promised one thing and it had me going back to the front pages to make sure I understood what should be next. And if if you you know if you want to lose your readers, make them have to hunt to figure out the direction of your book. If you told them you were going to talk about conflict resolution, then stay on topic. If you told them you were going to uh, write and talk about prayer, stay on topic. So make sure your stories or ideas, even your examples support what you said you were going to tell them. Then the third part of that phrase is tell them what you told them. Every book, short story, or essay has a conclusion. You've told them what your book was about. You filled the pages with that information. Now you are bringing about a conclusion to what you've told them and why it was important that you told them. Don't miss that. Don't leave that out in your story. Because sometimes if you're just telling stuff, your reader wants to know, why did I need to know that? What was the purpose of that? So no, you really continue this process through each chapter. You tell them what you're going to tell them, what you're going to talk about. You present your ideas for that chapter. You then build on it. And then you tell them more fully in the chapter, bringing the examples to support what you started. And at the end of the chapter, you're kind of summing it up and giving them reasons why you told them what was the purpose for it. Now, I know that may seem a little different if you're writing a novel, for example, but even in a novel, you don't just abruptly end a chapter. You give a little clue in the chapter, the ending, a kind of like what's going to even be coming. So there's this flow. There should be this constant flow. So again, 
as we talk about this, this, this tell them, remember, introduce them to your story, tell them what you introduce to them, uh, build on that. And then at the end, make sure you're concluding and giving a summing up, if you will, of what it was that you talked to them about. Hope these tips are helpful. So if you're looking for a coach or help with publishing, contact me at publishdivision.com. That's publishdivision.com. Or you can email me at Dr. Jewel Williams, that's D-R, Jewel, J-E-W-E-L, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, Dr. Jewel Williams at PublishTheVision.com. So you know what we always say, until next time, write it. God bless.